Pakistan's political turmoil. Two of the country's three major parties say they have put aside their differences and are willing to form a coalition. They're nominating a political veteran, former Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif, to run the government. I can share with you that the Pakistan People's Party and the Muslim League Nawaz have the necessary numbers now. And God willing, we will be able to work on forming a government. The alliance comes after an election that failed to produce a clear winner. Candidates backed by the PTI party of jailed former Prime Minister Imran Khan won the most votes. But they ruled out coalition talks with the other major parties. The PTI is blaming voter fraud for their poor showing and claims the vote count for several seats was manipulated. The PTI is calling what was done to our party the mother of all rigging. We reject this result in the strongest terms. The PTI has accused the military of tampering with the vote count, an allegation Pakistani authorities have denied. PTI candidates are now flooding courts to challenge the results. And it's not only PTI that accuses of vote manipulation. In the southern Sindh province, thousands are protesting against what they believe was a rigged election. In Balochistan, in the southwest, this sit-in is also against alleged poll rigging. Unfortunately, what happened on February 8th was not an election, but a selection. It was a massively rigged election. What we're demanding is that we be given the correct election results. For many, these accusations damage the legitimacy of Sharif's coalition before it even takes office. That's likely to make the task of bringing political stability and arm has called this coalition mandate thieves because they believe that Pakistan, most of the around 60 million voters of Pakistan voted for them and not for the coalition. And these two parties were also involved. Uh, uh, they came together to oust uh, former Prime Minister Imran Khan from his office in April 2022. And when these parties took over the government, the country later plunged into deep. The vote was rigged to favour these parties. PTI has also claimed that it was a target of state suppression, um, a crackdown that was led by the military. The military has denied these allegations. But PTI says that when it was going through this crackdown and suppression, these parties stayed quiet. PTI also believes that its backed candidates have won enough seats that they on their own can form the government. They have challenged the results of several of the seats. They have gone to courts and to the election of Commission of Pakistan and they believe that uh, the results of these inquiries and investigations will favour them.